Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to see how will you explain the Selenium Automation Framework in an interview. Okay. Now this is a very common question that would be asked to you in an interview. And generally, this would be asked in the beginning of the interview itself, right? So that the interviewer can come to know what are, what is the folder structure, how you have maintained the automation framework how is the hierarchy of the folders kept in the uh, framework in which you are using right so this is a very important question and it is definitely asked in an interview so we have been receiving comments and emails on how to answer this kind of question so over here i have tried to cover all those things that one should mention in the framework right but still if you feel that uh, you're not having proper clarity of what to be explained in some particular point or any other suggestion or feedback like this also could be incorporated so please feel free to put those in the comments of this video okay now there are two things one is the automation framework that you have to explain to them and another thing is your contribution as well right now for example you have some xyz years of experience maybe mid level of experience or senior level of experience or junior level of experience so it might happen that automation framework is created by the entire team team of four to five members so you don't have to tell that it was created by me right that is not expected and if it is not created by you so don't tell right let's be very honest in an interview there are some times that uh, you know people who would not have created the automation framework are telling that yes i have created that automation framework but let's not do that we can also tell that it has been created it was created earlier by the team leads who are working in the project or in the organization and i have started working on in that framework okay now coming to the contribution so you can also tell that you have created some utilities or you have created some batch files you have created some powershell scripts right so we will come to that section as well so the very first thing that you have to tell is about the programming language so which programming language you have used in your framework so whether it is java python c sharp dot net right so that thing you have to explain then the type of framework what is the type of framework data driven framework is it keyword driven by using page object model right and or sometimes it can be bdd framework also behavior driven development framework as well right in which you might be using some feature files you will be having some step definition files right and uh, then you can explain form as well so what is page object model so you have to explain each and everything so over here let's say if you these are the key points programming language framework type form packages properties file now you have to give a short summary of what what is the significance or what is the role of these particular thing in this entire framework okay now what happens in form so we would be creating few of the classes right and in those classes we would be having uh, uh, having the functionality and members of that web page so let's say if you have uh, uh, a separate classes right so all those classes you would be keeping in kind of page object model right let's say if you are uh, creating pages right so in that pages you will be mentioning the locators the elements you will be mentioning the xpath or css and all those methods would be written in those classes then you have packages right we all know we all work with these kind of packages there are basically two types of packages one is pages and one is related to the test right then for example if you have functionality wise pages and login page they will have separate classes to store element locators right then you have properties file so what is property file so let's say if you have to run your automation on some particular url whether it is development url testing url or it is staging or maybe production url so you would be modifying you would be updating those url over there or else you would be commenting out the other redundant urls and you would be uh, keeping only those uh, links in which you have to run the automation then you have uh, username passwords over there even uh, if you have forward password functionality, then you can keep security question answers also over there, for, which would be used for uh, forward password or change password kind of functionalities. Right. And uh, let's say if your framework is integrated with Jira using Zephyr plugin or using X ray tool, then you would be mentioning your uh, credentials of Zephyr or uh, your Jira access key tokens 
in that properties file. Right. So this is a very high level kind of framework, right? SRC test Java, SRC test resources. Then uh, you have dependencies, you have installer batch files, right? So this is how you can uh, you can just you know have a look at this, right? And on this on this basis, we have to explain the framework in an interview. Okay. Now, uh, now about now this particular screenshot is nothing but it is a standardized Maven project. Right, all the tests would be kept in the SRC test Java folder, and remaining files such as config.properties, element locators, form classes, utility files, whatever test data you have that would be kept in the SRC main Java. Okay, then uh, if you are having mostly it would be used test ng for assertions, for grouping, for prioritizing the test, right? Then you will be having screenshots as well. And they would be saved in some particular uh, respective folder. And also the screenshots of failed test cases would be added to the extent reports. In some interviews, you might get questions like, uh, how are you dealing with the screenshots of prior test more than three months, right? Let's say you have ex executed few of the test more than three months or more than six months. Are they still available on your folder or drive? So it depends on organization to organization and project to project. In some project, they believe that we should keep the artifacts or screenshots till three months. In some organization they believe, or in some team they might believe, no, let us every time clean this folder before the new run. So it depends on individual to individual, right? But this kind of maintenance kind of thing might be asked in an interview, okay? Then we are using Maven for dependency purposes, right? So whichever, um, dependencies whichever uh, other third party libraries or other uh, files that we would use for building execution or dependency purpose so those we would be mentioning in the pom.xml in the tags right and we would be generating this xml file then version control tool so git we are using in some cases they are using svn as well so you can mention those things right then you have Jenkins. So coming to this at the end. So I think there is uh, Jenkins you can explain at the end, right? Then we have test base class as well. So basically in some interviews, you might get how you are implementing OOPS concepts. So those things also you should cover in your framework, right? So you will be having base class, right? Which would be uh, inherited, right? So there would be some other, another class that would be extending your base class. And in your base class, you would be mentioning all the code that is related to your properties file, initializing the web driver, implicit weights, extend reports mechanism if you are using if so again in reporting mechanism, you can take this extend reports in a different thing as well, right, you can create a separate point for reporting. Right, whether you are using extend reports. Allure reports or you are using the basic test ng reports only so those things you can mention over here the default test ng reports right then you have src test resources folder as well in which you would be keeping your auto it scripts if you have any or sql images or any of your licenses that you would be having to make your application test up and running or let's say if you are having some kind of scenario in which you have to test the behavior of the application after license is expired so you would be keeping that kind of file right so those are the things then installer batch file so uh, so let's say if you have desktop based or windows based kind of applications in which you have to install those applications and then only your automation would run now as it is windows based so it cannot be handled by selenium directly so you would be using some powershell scripts or venium driver right to automate those so those things you can keep in the this kind of folder right and at the end you will have uh, which ci cd tool you are using right which devops tool uh, you are using for integration right that is also important that also should be included in your framework so over here for example i have covered jenkins there are other tools as well which you can mention and uh, uh, for example, Jenkins is uh, used for executing tests on a daily basis and also for nightly execution. And there is a scheduler functionality feature available, which can be used over there so that you can highlight in your interview as well. And um, so, so beginning of this video, we were discussing about the contribution of the, uh, your contribution to this framework. So that is very important. You have to tell earlier in your team 
the automation test coverage was 45 percent with the help of your test contribution now it has been increased to 52 percent 55 percent so these kind of parameters these kind of answers right because of your contribution because of your effort the the team has been uh, reaching more towards the goal right towards their end goal so this is very important in these kind of interviews you have to tell what what was the difference earlier and what made your hiring a difference right or your um, place in that particular team a difference so those things you have to explain and then you are able to you know put such kind of data before in the interview before the interviewers right then this kind of data is very important this kind of facts this kind of numbers this kind of statistics right like uh, because of uh, because of my effort or i automated these many negative test scripts i created these many test scripts related to the negative testing and now we are we are able to cover few of the corner cases due to which automation percentage has got increased so these things you have to tell in an interview so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video would be useful to you, right? So in an interview, try to cover all these 12 things, right? And try to mention one or two lines explaining about each and every individual aspect, right? This itself would cover your four to five minutes and the interviewer will also come to know, okay, you have got all, all, all the knowledge around 360 degree like that's like you are covering cicd you are covering resources you are covering test data you are covering scripts framework programming language so most of the things would be covered in this kind of question that is why this questions is these kind of questions are very important so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more updates